Hi, so you graduated from college with an engineering degree and you want to take it to the next level. Now the next thing you have to do is take the fundamentals of engineering exam to someday be able to become a professional engineer. Now, the fundamentals of engineering exam is a very hard test and it's very, very intimidating for a lot of people. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have heard a lot of, stor of stories about people who have taken it like 10 times, 5 times. You don't want to be that guy. And as long as you study correctly and you have a pattern, you're going to be okay. So I'm going to tell you what worked for me when I took that test so that you don't have a problem. Now, what worked for me might not work for you. Everybody's different. So I'm going to tell you what I did so hopefully I can help you. So the first thing you want to do, you want to look what subjects are going to be in your, in your exam. Every exam is different, you want to be civil, you want to do general, you, you can do multiple subjects, well specialties, let's call it that, for the fundamentals of engineering exam. So you need to know what's going to come beforehand. Now, second, second thing you need to do is set your mindset. You have to set your mindset, you need to work, to, to eat healthy, you need to set like regular periods of studying, you need to like do, do practical tests, try to go, go out. If you're working, you need to manage your time, basically. Manage your time and manage your health. It's very important to be healthy for this exam. It's a long exam. It takes a long, long stress on your, on your body, on your head. So you need to be able to, to keep up with it and don't be like two hours left in the exam and you are drained. You need to be good. You need to be top. Now, I'm going to tell you what worked for me. The first thing I got, I got, I got the reference handbook from the NCAIS website. Now, this handbook has all the calculations for the exam, everything you're gonna need. What you want to do, you want to remember where the most important things are. Now, this handbook, you're gonna have an online, a uh, virtual version online. So, just remember, you can, there's also a search bar in the, in the online version. Well, it's not the only version now. So, there's a search bar, so rem just, what, what I did, like, Try to remember the keywords, the most important keywords for, for, the, for the specific subject that you're going to be taking, the specific problem that you're solving. What are the keywords? That way you can just Ctrl F, search, formula, grab it, plug in. Good to go, next problem. You need to know, you don't need to know the manual by memory, but you need to have an idea of what every problem is requiring. It's very important to have an understanding of the problems. And this is more important as time goes on during the exam because the last one, two hours, your brain is going to be super drained. So you want to be able to just identify a keyword, go for it, go for it, go for it. Don't even think about it. Now, that's the first thing. You want to review, you want to do tests, you want to practice problems with this. All right? Now, the second thing that I got for the, for the exam is this one. The, well, I'm a civil, so I got the FE civil review exam from Michael Lindenberg. It's a really good book. Now, this is not uh, like your end it all of civil engineering, like, or like for the exam. Just because you have, you, you have this book and like read it, doesn't mean you're gonna be able to pass this exam. Now, actually, I felt that this book was lacking a lot of stuff. It has a lot of good information, on every subject that you want, but it's also useless information. Like 80% of this crap, like it's just, not this crap, this, this book, it's just things that you don't really need. So basically, the way I was studying for this exam, I was doing like a quick read on every subject. But every example that they had, I would try to solve it myself. Every example. Every example they had for every subject. Now, I didn't solve all of them because, you know, I get tired sometimes like from studying and stuff like that. But that's my, the best advice that I can give you for passing the FE exam or in general and any test that I took during my career or whatever. It's just do as many problems as you can. So that's the, be the, the best thing to do. Now, other tips that I can give you for passing the FE exam. Well, do a lot of problems. Oh, I forgot. One thing that I also got, I got the practice exam from the NCIS website. That, that, that practice exam helped me so much 
to gauge where I was, what I needed to study more, what were my weak subjects. I, so get that, it's like $40, like you're gonna be spending like $300 plus the test, so you're gonna be spending like $500, so it's a lot of money, but I mean, it's worth it. Uh, because you will get a pay raise, you will get better opportunities, and a lot of places require or pay more for if you have your FE exam. Now, one thing that I do recommend to do also is, also is uh, whenever you take a practice test, whenever you do anything, and you're like, you know, checking your answers, see what your strong, point, your strong points, are, points are. If you have really strong points in, let's say, statics, or hydraulics or transportation, then try not to study too much for that. Why? Because you already know that. And a lot of those times you can just like go straight into the manual, bring it back, solve it, and go into the next problem. Study your weakest subjects. For me, it was hydrology and water treatment and all that crap. So that's where environmental, I spend a lot of time studying all of that. Uh, those are the big tips. Now you don't have to worry about calculator or like a lot of stuff anymore that you used to have to worry about. I never took it then, but whatever. Uh, the last time thing you, I do recommend you to be very aware is the time. Time, 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 time flies so fast during the exam. It's, it's a very long period, you're gonna be super tired by the end of it, but it's also very constrained, like, for me, I remember when I took the exam, I still had like 10 questions left and I had like five minutes left in the exam. So I was like, oh crap. So I just like tried to finish everything. Be very aware of your time. Make a calculation of how many, how many minutes do you have per, per question and try to, to gauge your time accordingly. If a question is too hard and it takes you more than one or two minutes, like and you, you know it's gonna take you long, more, longer, you make an educated guess and move to the next one. Every point is, is, has the same value, so it doesn't matter if you miss one or two. All right, guys? Uh, good luck in your FE examination, and I hope you like this video. Thank you.